Hello, welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where, um, I think it's the next month, uh, there was one encounter, this was um, a battle cruiser, the, where was it, this one, the Mergia Largo, it was literally just me running away <laughs> from uh, a battleship, um, and the other battle cruisers, the Sonora, has also encountered an Austro-Hungarian battleship, and these, I mean, they're not amazing but they are difficult they're really not what this type of ship was designed to deal with but annoyingly here i have transports to deal with so i uh, that's uncomfortably close so i think the best bet is to kind of well provide a little bit of cover and hope that the enemy retreats. I know that maybe doesn't sound <laughs> particularly uh, noble or aggressive, but um, I'd rather keep this this ship alive. I don't want to abandon the transports either, and the battleship can easily finish them off with its. It's secondary, it doesn't need to even use its main guns. Um, hmm. I mean, we do have larger guns, we do have speed, but uh, yeah, we really lack the ability to get a killing shot because we are using cordite. Um, and with cordite guns, you yeah, you just don't get those killing blows as often, especially not against ships that are actually you know well protected. Hopefully, we can maybe just scare them off. Ow! Right, start maneuvering. <laughs> can also do that. Try and throw their aim off. Basically going to zigzag in front of the convoy as best I can. No hits. To be very much the long range plinking match. Transports are very slowly starting to retreat. Yeah, I've hit him more than he's hit me, but they've all been uh, they've all ricocheted off. Oh, there we go. A little bit of damage. <laughs> yeah, maneuvering does throw off their uh, aim a fair bit. Oof, that one was close. Oh, there we go. Bit of flooding. Plus, being an Austro-Hungarian ship, it has ludicrous resistance stacking. There we go. 60 damage and a fire. Time to turn around again. Right, other way. Another flooding hit. Very nice. Uh, short.
Ow. Well, actually, not ow, just ricochet. That's something. The Rosetsky. Okay. I was thinking, oh, maybe I can get him to run out of shells. <laughs> no, doesn't seem like it. Maybe I could draw him off. Be an interesting one. See if I could do that. If I could get him to follow the battle cruiser and not transports. Ow. That would help. Bloody hell. <laughs> that is going to make this so much harder. Oh, we got some good hits back, though. Yeah, he's getting a bit close for comfort. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's going to slow me to an absolute crawl. Might as well try and use the remainder of my momentum to get bow in against him. That is, if we don't just sink. We have caused a little bit of damage back, but really, this battlecruiser has not performed well uh, in that type of engagement. I, I think that was the right call to try and dodge and all the rest of it, but yeah, that that stings. Uh, that does sting. Oh well, these things happen. Uh, yeah, that is that is bad, but at least it'll mean the series doesn't end immediately. Oh, bugger. Right. Um, we've got a whole bunch of cruisers under construction, haven't we? Annoying, though. How are they up to three battleships? I thought I, they only had two left. I must have built another one. Ugh, disappointing. Disappointing. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, maybe a chance to uh, get some revenge. Not on the Rosicki, but we do have the Bohemia and the Monarch. 2v2, really, because the Mochi Lago is not going to be too much use. Okay. At least with killing most of their cruisers. Um, we get these nice capital ship battles. It's pretty cool. So you have the flagship and the Orpheon. Oh, fuck me, they're close. How the hell did that happen? Right, Machi Lago. You're going to want to uh, speed up and move away. up and turn a void off. No, I did not do that. <laughs> Ships still. And 
it's surprisingly close. A few hits. That's good. Really nice hits, actually. Ooh, what are they doing? No, don't do that. <laughs> Holy crap. How far down she is already. I don't know if she was damaged before she came into the fight or not, but that is uh, a hell of a lot of damage already. Those guns out of the fight. Yeah, the monarch. Look at that listing right over. Hopefully, that flooding is enough to put it out. Yep. Good to see. Just the Bohemia. Unlike when we were using the Bath Cruiser, these battleships can really take a hit. Tower damage. Big, big, big hits. That's the stuff, oh my. Uh, Pietro Apostolo really coming in for the kill here. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Flash fire as well. Yeah, I don't think she's going to last long after that. Down she goes. Well, that uh, is a very nice way to deal with um, <laughs> one of your own ships being sunk. Go and sink two of theirs. Well, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, yes, yeah, sunk two Austro-Hungarian battleships, meaning they have one solitary battleship left. Hmm. Uh, yeah, but again, we have no ships <laughs> available because they're all they're all uh, getting repaired. Oh dearie me. Still though, with them having thirteen thousand victory points, they might not kind of just immediately surrender. Um, given they did have some success, it's annoying to lose a battle cruiser though. That that does hurt. But now, yeah, battle cruiser versus battleship, provided uh, the battleship isn't terrible, it's always going to be tough. Um, <laughs> they've been replaced. 
<laughs> I'm not surprised. Poor old Nicholas Hawthy. Uh, yeah, I, I can see why. Um, and we have another convoy. <gasps> destroyers. We actually have some of our destroyers ready. Oh, very interesting. So one is the Carasia. That is a four inch, nine four inch guns, two torpedoes. And a, the Fulmine, four four inch guns and a triple torpedo tube. So we definitely have the firepower to take out transports. Uh, we'll probably leave the battle cruiser alone. Um, because uh, that seems like a bad plan. <laughs> and these things are are fast. This one, the Carasia, can do 41.3 knots. And the little one, the Ful... Ful... Is it the Fulime? Ful... Fulmine uh, can do 43.4. Apologies for the terrible Italian accent. But yeah, these ships are very, 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 very fast. So yeah, nip in, shoot up the transports, leave. That's the plan. Although... Would be nice if we could torpedo a battle cruiser. That would be quite funny. But that is uh, that is a secondary objective. Transport. That is what I wanted to find. You never know whether you're going to run into the escort or the transports first. Oh, poor little transport. Big convoy. Is that the battle cruiser at the back? Yeah, it is. Well, <laughs> I mean, they look like they're stationary. Ah, oh, this is where the destroyers are going to insist on shooting at the uh, battle cruiser, because they're right there. guided yeah we're slowing down significantly annoyingly I don't have a clear torpedo shot but they have changed targets Ooh. tempting Very tempting. Yep, locked up to the battle 
her, isn't it? Oh, she's turning. I don't mind that. Normal. Got where the tubes are on this one, on the back. Aggressive, aggressive, shoot. Yeah, they're out. Good. Get away. There goes the Zara. Gotcha. Okay. I'll give him something to think about. Right. Where's the Fulmine? Still hanging around at the back. Ouch. Oh, no, they got the Karasia. <laughs> Boo, hiss. Still a lot of damage on that uh, battle cruiser. But yeah, if you keep doing that, I'm just going to sink without a trace. So... Torpedoes authorised. Do you even have your torpedo launcher left? It's not tracking it. Hard to tell. It's doing that thing where nothing works. Probably because the crew is busy trying to stop the ship from sinking. Damn. And blast. Well, not a total loss. <laughs> um, really, 4,000 victory points for that. Killing two destroyers. Hmm. I'm not sure I agree with you, game. But, uh, okay. It doesn't actually tell me how bad the damage was on I'm assuming, I'm assuming that uh, she will be in for repairs though. Well, not exactly the most auspicious outing for our destroyer fleet. But there's plenty more on the way. Um, in fact, I should add some more to, to the construction. Uh, well, that's one of those, one of those to replace our losses. Uh, and then how many did I build of each? I think I built... I built two. So, let's order two more of the other type. No, not that one. <laughs> not the super expensive one. Just get some more on the go. Okay, maybe we'll, we'll we'll get one of the super expensive ones. Yeah, <laughs> damage for finances. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that. We'll get just more destroyers on the go. Uh, I'm going to switch all these onto sea control. And, well, most of the... We're going to get... Some of the main fleet back in a minute. Uh, what are the British up to? They're sending a light cruiser over here. Um, bold. But, uh, yep. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Trinots. Bye for now.